Lots of people. Hello, everybody. Here we are with one of the fig tree pride males. Uh, the other one went off to drink water. It's far in the background. Quite a few hyenas around, a couple of jackals. Uh, it looks like it was a buffalo that they're eating. Okay, not a buffalo, it's a topi. about seven or eight hyenas circling around here. That's what was making all that noise now. I think it's, it's not necessarily calling to other hyenas, they're just talking to each other. They're all just uh, sitting around. Uh, what it's eating is a topi. One of the medium-sized antelopes that's in the area. You'll see one hyena in the background there coming up. There he is. How old is he? He's seven years old. One of the fig tree pride males. Which one is it? You did, Maradadi. With the hole in his nose. You die. Which? Which boy is this? It's, uh, yeah, it is Maradadi. You can see he's got that big hole in his nose. It's warm, Richard, but it's still quite cloudy and misty, so it could be warmer. But at least it's not raining. It has been raining a lot. time is it here? What's the time, you know? Half past seven. Or well, there or thereabouts. Twenty to eight. And the lion's name is Maridadi, one of the two fig tree pride males. His brother Kaka has gone over the horizon there, looking for water.
is the stomach lying in front, yes. He's alone because his brother's gone off to go and have a drink. I'm sure he'll come back. But there's not that much food left. He might not come back. He might go and find the rest of the pride, actually. Where is the Lord Puppet? Uh, not exactly sure this morning, but he's uh, in his own territory, which is very flooded. We can't get through the rivers that side, so we're probably not going to be able to get to him for the next couple of days. much the lion can eat uh, up to about 40 kilos of meat in one sitting Did the lion or lioness hunt it? There's no lionesses here, so it was uh, the lion that hunted the, the male and his brother, two males that were here to start with. Uh, they would have caught it early hours of this morning. Two big males like that, they're not going to spend a lot of time eating a topi. It'll only last them a, an hour or two. And uh, to be honest, I think the, the other brother, the one that's gone, isn't going to come back. I think he's had his fill. Which pride is the male from? He's from the fig tree pride. Dominant males of the fig tree pride. Do I guide in Kruger and the Mara? Anything from the Kruger that you've seen in the last couple of weeks? I was in the Kruger in November. Uh, now I'm in the Mara for now. There you go. Now you can see it's a topi. You can see the horns. You can see uh, everything that's going on there. We're just going to move around a little bit, see if we can get a better view. When we get close up, I can zoom in. I'm not sure how good the quality of the zoom will be. Let's give it a go. 
There we go. Oh, that's actually quite good. There you go. They got used to the vehicles, yes, the, all the lions in the area have grown up with the vehicles, so they're not particularly bothered by them. Are they bigger than Kruger lions? I think they're more well fed, that's the thing. Uh, with the migration coming through every year, there's no shortage of food. Kruger lions struggle in their, in their um, dry seasons, or well, not the dry seasons, but there's food around for them in the wet seasons when it's a bit harder for them to hunt the Kruger lions struggle so they do get quite skinny uh, you don't often see skinny lions in the Mara he looks young he's just in his prime at uh, seven years old um, so he's not old he's not young middle-aged for a lion is seven years I've just been setting up the cameras at the bottom. I may have missed some questions. Why don't they like to eat the stomach? It's full of grass. It's, it's uh, part of the meal. They, if they are extremely hungry, they will rip it open and eat the stomach lining and then leave all the undigested grass on the ground. to see a hyena eating lion meat. It happens, it happens. Um, a couple of weeks ago, not too far from here, the clan of hyenas uh, were eating a, a young male from one of the other prides. Is he Blackie and Lipstick's son? Uh, those two or their brother. Um, they were still three four kilometer males when uh, he was born, so we can't be sure which one. Does a lion eat more than a normal lioness? Yeah, it goes according to body size. So a lion is much bigger than a lioness, so he probably eat uh, at least a third more, if not twice as much. Time of day it is there. It is uh, now nearly eight o'clock in the morning.
is the temperature like? It's it's getting warm. We've got a bit of sun today. There's a uh, cloud in the background, but it's, um, so it's probably 20, 25 degrees Celsius. And you can see that big hole he's got in his nose there. Makes him easily recognisable. Uh, and he got that from his brother when they were fighting, I'm not sure, over meat or over a lioness. Please excuse the car next to us, it's stuck in the mud. There we go, he's out now. <laughs> Does lion digest bones? Yes. Yes, lions do digest the bones. They'll crush open the bones to get to the marrow inside. Um, a lot of it will come out once they've digested the calcium that they need. The rest of it will come out the back end, much like hyenas do. Has a lion ever attacked me? No, no. Uh, I wouldn't be here talking to you. you. You don't usually survive that sort of thing. Yes, he caught it. Do these lions just roam freely? Yes, completely freely. The, the, the Mara ecosystem is not fenced in any way, so uh, technically they can walk right into town if they wanted to. They don't want to. There's no food there. Are there any neighbour pride or male lion close to this pride? They share a boundary uh, with uh, Lolpapit and Albanati, the, the two older males to the north of here and to the south. Which lions would be to the south, Yuda? Uh, Black Rock Pride would be south of us, and maybe the, the Hammercop males, they might share a border with the Hammercop males as well. It's not old, but it's not uh, fresh, fresh. It's probably an hour or so ago. Uh, and they've cleaned all the, the gore off the face or, or already. Still no sign of his brother coming back. I don't think he's coming now. The hyena, the hyenas are just behind the, our vehicle here, um, they're just lying, waiting. I don't think they want to take on such a big boy. When do I think the next time he'll eat again? Um, you know, they're opportunistic, they'll eat when they get the chance. He will have to eat again within two weeks. But he may eat tomorrow, may not eat again until that two weeks. Depends what the prey animals are doing. Uh, usually in this area, they eat every two or three days. Yeah. Yeah. How old is he? He's seven years old. Coming up for eight, I think. Um, someone's asking about Scarface, you do? He's there, he's there with his brothers, uh, Scarface, whoever was asking. Um, I don't know if we can get to him through the rivers at the moment. Um, yeah, look out 
um, if we do see him, I'll post an Instagram picture or, or whatever. Do I think Sabi and Kruger will start helping the Lions? I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, their numbers are uh, stable enough at the moment. Um, yeah, if they get down to 200 in the entire Kruger region, then they'll probably start helping, but not uh, not before that. Could I show you the hyenas? Uh, there's a couple that are standing up. Let's just move the camera around, and uh, I will show you. Um, just wait a little bit. Okay, sorry, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Yes, the hyenas are over here somewhere. Where, where's the hyena? There, there's the hyenas. Oh, I think we've lost focus. So there's quite a few in the background there. Go back to the lion. Is he by himself? Is a question. Yes, he is now. His brother was here, arrived, but. Uh, he has since left. Lions do eat the bones, but not to the extent that the hyenas do. They eat the organs, they eat the lungs, the liver, the heart, all of that. The only thing that will be left, uh, usually the kill this size, the topi, will be the stomach, the uh, spinal cord and the head, or the, the, the horns, basically. Nobody gave the lion the meat, he hunted it himself. Well, he and his brother hunted it together. This is a complete wild lion, it doesn't get fed. How many lions are in the pride? It's the two pride males. What's the rest of the pride size, you know? How, how many lionesses? Six, six lionesses and quite a few youngsters at the moment. Will there be a takeover soon? Uh, no, at seven years old, uh, these boys are in their prime. They shouldn't get taken over for another three, four, five years yet. Pride should be very stable. Until then. Lioness.
Cubs are probably a bit further north of us towards the river. Uh, they weren't involved in the catching and killing and eating of this particular piece of prey. Hyenas going up. The hyenas are all just kind of chilling out behind. They're not going to come in now. Um, I know there's going to be a bit left for them. It's not Kaka, it's uh, Maridadi. Average lifespan of a lion in the wild is uh, uh, 10 to 12 years for a male, 14 to 16 for a female. Uh, we do see in the Mara a lot of the males get above that average. There's a lot of 14, 15 year old males around in the Mara. Is a tiger stronger than a lion? Uh, overall, probably yes. Yes, tigers being more solitary um, and larger, I would say a tiger would be stronger than a lion. But would it be able to fight a lion? Different story, they've got different techniques. So. What prey is it? It's a topi. How long will he not eat? It depends. It depends. He, he will eat again this afternoon if there's more food to eat, uh, but he may go days or go over a week if there isn't any food to eat. How many hours will he sleep in a day? Like most cats, he will sleep for uh, up to 18 hours of the day. Which coalition fig tree pride males? Any other 
predators or scavengers around other than the hyenas. There were some jackals around, but they've also moved off, uh, lying down in the long grass behind. Does the Mara intervene if an animal is hurt or stuck? It depends on how badly hurt it is. They, they, you know, small scratches and stuff like this guy's nose they wouldn't interfere with, but they do help out. Uh, there is a lot of human-wildlife conflict, so they they try to counterbalance that by helping out where they can. Someone was asking about how much they're going to drink. Um, when it's fresh meat like this was, they'll get a lot of their moisture requirements from the blood of the prey, uh, but as it gets hotter they'll have to drink. Lions eating a lion. There, there were two. There were two males um, to begin with. His brother has gone off. The rest of the pride uh, possibly got their own food somewhere else. The two boys were out patrolling last night, most likely, and caught this early hours of this morning. Yes, it's Muradadi that has the. the the chunk out of his nose. Uh, apparently his brother swiped it out of him. I'm not sure if they were uh, on a kill or uh, maybe one got too close to the other while they were mating, something like that. Then I get scared. No, we're, we're, we're at a decent distance and we're in a vehicle. We're perfectly safe. So how long have they been pride leaders for? About two years, I think. Um, what is he eating? It's a topi. It was a topi. Now it's just some bones. Is this the first time I'm live streaming? No, it's the first time this month, but it's not the first time uh, ever. It's the first time it's looked this good, though. Any vultures around? No. No, it's still a bit early for the vultures. They need it to get warm to so be able to get up and look for food. What time is it? It is now 10 past 8 in the morning. Hey guys, we're going to 
sign off for a while now. Uh, a couple of vehicles stuck in the mud here. We're going to help get out and uh, all of that. And then we'll go and look for something else. We'll go live again if we get another decent sighting. Uh, last question there. Is that the stomach on the ground? Yes. Uh, when am I going to get more painted dogs footage? When I see them. How many lion in the Mara? Uh, probably about 300. Okay. Cheers, everybody. Uh, we'll catch you again a bit later.